Head to head matchup. Shake Shack, Shack Burger versus Dave's single from Wendy's. Shake Shack coming in at six dollars and nine cents before taxes. Wendy's four dollars and seventy-nine cents before taxes as a normal price. But they have the special two for five as it's on the two for five menu. So it's even less, but I'll go by the normal price of four dollars and seventy-nine cents. For the comparison to six dollars and nine cents at Shake Shack, Shake Shack, you can see the bird coming like a bib thingy, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, sack, shack sauce, and the burger patty. Looks good. Looks great. Looks wonderful. Over here, Wendy's, Dave single. Appears to be a brioche bun. Lettuce, onions, tomatoes, pickles, cheese. Looks good. This is like it'll make for a good head to head matchup as Wendy's is more convenient to people and Shake Shack can be out of the way, but it should be a good comparison. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Iceberg Jim, back at y'all with another one. And today we have a head to head matchup. Dave's single. Versus Shake Shack's Shack's Burger. Shake Shack Shack's Burger. Single patty. Oh, uh, looks good. Looks great. Looks delicious. Here you go. Shake Shack being a little further out the way. Wendy's being more convenient for more people. This is about the head to head flavor and price. We already know Wendy's is going to win in terms of price. $4.79 on a regular day. Two for five special going on. Shake Shack, $6.00. Nine cents. Let's go ahead and take a bite out of the Dave's single. Now, last burger review I did was a head to head matchup Mr. Beast Burger versus Smash Burger. Mr. Beast Burger came out with a raw patty that disqualified it from things, but it did have good seasoning on it. At least the patty that was cooked well. And I don't mean well done, but one that was cooked properly. Smash Burger, good flavorful toppings. Add a regular classic Smash Burger, single patty. But the uh, burger was nothing special. Just a regular old, plain old hamburger that you can find at like a Wendy's. And I said Wendy's should be better. And I prefer Wendy's to be it's convenient and better price and has fresh toppings. And the burger is just as good. So... Anyway, let's take a bite of these Wendy's and see what's good with it. Okay. Flavor topping. Definitely can compete with Smash Burger. And let me take a piece of this burger patty. Regular burger, just as good as Smash Burger. So, and I think because the way they cook it, you do get a little more flavor because this does have that. Maybe it's more salty. I don't know. But it, it's just as good as Smash Burger. So, and topping just as good. So, I may as well get Wendy's because it's a cheaper price. More convenient. Go through a drive through. So yeah, I mean, Smash Burger has more different kinds of toppings, but tell me the classic Smash Burger. Maybe it's just good. But it's about Wendy's versus Shake Shack. Time to get into Shake Shack. That's the mayo cheese sack, shack sauce. I doubt there's any onions on it. No. I do like onions on my burger, but it is what it is. Let's, let's, let's go into this.
Get that strong tomato flavor. I prefer my tomato to be hidden, you know, within the framework of the burger. I don't like it to stand out too much. I'm getting hints of this shack sauce, but I'm going to take a Jack sauce doesn't really wow me. I don't get a lot of flavor from it. Here's the burger patty. Just a regular old plain old burger. I like the bun. The toppings are fresh. I'm just not getting that vibe from the chef sauce. If I put ketchup and mustard on it, be no different than Wendy's, right? And Wendy's would be cheaper. But I do prefer this bun. Let me see if I get more of the shack sauce. I can't get a strong flavor out of it. I prefer a stronger flavor. She's a good shake shot. Back to Wendy's. Mmm. Let's play that onion hit. A little mayo, ketchup, a little bit of pickle. Mmm. And I like this pickle definitely more than any pickle at McDonald's, etc. So, oh, head to head, Wendy's versus Shake Shack. I, I can definitely taste that little bit short to the burger at Wendy's. Oh, I mean, Shake Shack is a basic burger. I mean, fresh toppings. I like the bun, I prefer the bun. But for the price point, even when Wendy's is not on sale, Wendy's is just as good. I'm gonna say Wendy's is better than Shake Shack when you factor in price, and you can get you can get a similar flavor and you get more taste out of this burger at Wendy's. <laughs> I like the onion on it too, so Shake Shack is okay. Not bad. If I add ketchup to it, some mustard, wouldn't make much of a difference. I don't understand this premium. And some people say, well, they make their burgers a certain way, but I think Wendy's has always been fresh, never frozen. Even McDonald's changed, so. But I mean, yeah, if a Shake Shack's close by and you have nothing else to go to, sure, why not? But if you got Wendy's and you want something you can have quite often is inexpensive, at least compared to Shake Shack, you go to Wendy's. I mean, I know Shake Shack has a little bit of atmosphere to it, and you know, and some people might want to go there for other things from their, you know, shakes and fries, and say, hey, while you're already there, you like the shakes and fries, go ahead and get the burger. From a strictly burger perspective, Shake Shack ain't all that. Now, the chicken sandwich at Shake Shack, that's where it's at. That, that's my favorite chicken sandwich at all these chain places, the one at Shake Shack. But this burger, I can deal with Wendy's. Shake Chat's cool, and if you're already there eating a chicken sandwich and fries and shake, it's okay to have this on the side. But I'm not going to Shake Shack just for the burger as it stands. And Shake Shack sauce, Shack sauce, whatever they call it, eh, I can't get a whole lot of flavor out of it. And I would stick to Wendy's, so that's the verdict. Wendy's over Shake Shack's burger. That's the verdict. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.